I'm Sissy Sue. And I'm Sissy Bob. And we're the Hillbilly Purple Gals. I'm not to break my bucket here. I'm trying not to break the bucket anymore. Okay. Run out of bucket lids. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck on you too. You know, this weather has really got me. Whew. I know. We actually got rain in Texas. Oh my Ooh, goodness. Wait. Rain, possible tornadoes. Folks, I was sleeping with my preps in my bed. She was trying to wear yourself down. <laughs> I was going to stand it on the news. We should wear a helmet. <laughs> I said, well, and Mama <laughs> really did go buy one, too. Yeah, Mama went and bought it. She bought a bicycle helmet. Me, I just strapped a bucket to my head. I had a chin strap. I, I had some beans and weenies up underneath that bucket. It didn't feel too good, but it worked. <laughs> anyway. Okay, it was another day in my life. I tell you. But today, today, what we're talking about, what are we talking about? Bugging in and bugging out. Bug it in or, or bug it out. Yeah. And we've had some questions about that, and Sissy. Why we, well, we actually got a question about what is bugging in and what is bugging out. Right. There's some people who do want to know that. And we kind of did those little acronyms video. Yeah. And people have different reasons why they would want to bug in or why they would want to bug out. So we're just going to let people know why we have made a decision to bug out. Well, and it depends on the circumstance, too. Well, that's true, too. Yeah. But if, if things happen the way that we... Per, how do you say first? Per perceive that they perceive, may. Perceive. I can't say that word. Or thinking they might, perhaps. Or, right. <laughs> go the way that we feel that they may go. We feel for our own safety and security, it would be better that we weren't here. Good answer, <laughs> Sissy. <laughs> so that would be bugging out. Not here, but gone. That's right. And they can have my Royal Albert and my Royal Dalton, and they can have all that stuff. Her Royal, all that stuff. Because I'll have the weenies, and that's the most important thing I'll take from you. <laughs> but no, seriously, folks, we got to get serious for a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. What was, why do you want to bug out? Well, actually, it's going to depend on what the situation is. If it's just a minor catastrophe, we will bug in as long as we can. But we are so close to the world's largest military installation. And it's scary, folks. And... Uh, for being military and all, and kind of supposed to be prepared, most of the families actually are not prepared. No, they're not. They're not. So they live paycheck to paycheck and commissary to commissary. So um, all the people that are living very close to town, I'm thinking we'll probably be heading right here since we're pretty much. We used to be outside we of town. To, yeah, we used to be outside of town. Yeah. We used to be like, you used to, actually would have to drive quite a way, but town has came out town to us. Town has encroached upon us. Yeah. And. Not only that, but even our little subdivision that used to, you had to have a min minimum of an acre, now, in some instances, has three and four houses on that acre. So, things yeah. have changed. A lot of things have changed. And so, that makes it... And so, if it does get ugly, and, and not just that, it depends on what the situation is. If things get really ugly, sissy, I don't want to be next to four. <laughs> when that, if they go to drop something over there, I won't be gone. <laughs> Well, that's true. And not just that, but the town on the other side. Oh, goodness Oh, my goodness gracious, gracious folks. I mean, they got a lot of gangs. And oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff like that. And after reading that book by that uh, Rawls fellow. Oh, yeah. 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 When those gangs and that book, folks, you got to get that book and read that book. Yeah. But the reason why I bug it out is because when she goes, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> no, I just, for me, it's like, um, if it was something like a tornado, you know, because we do have those possibilities oh, here. yeah. Yeah. Then that, you know, that's a bug-in situation. I mean, yeah, if, if a tornado hits my house, I'm going to have to stay temporarily somewhere else. But for me to actually bug out is because I see the way people are now, and we ain't even in a crisis. Right. I mean, they are stealing, breaking into people's houses. We have I a high crime rate. It is hard. It is terrible and horrible. And I'm like, so when I see how things are now, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when these people, when they can't get food, when they don't have water, when... When things really just hit the fan, yeah, you know, no, I don't want to be here. And since he was looking at the crime statistics the other day, oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness, there's a lot of sexual offenders around here, too. Oh, that's right, but not I just think. around here, but around everywhere, <laughs> even in these little places. I know, I know. And, you know, because that's except, one of the things. Except right next to our, our, our bug out location, which will remain unnamed, but yeah. did they you know? notice? There wasn't none there. No, because there's nothing there for them. <laughs> That's no what my mom said. She in said, the woods to want said, to go steal anything like a log or something. <laughs> 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 now, once okay. they realize that, you know, that the... And I think, too, they know that the people are there are probably all armed. Right. So, the thing is, is, you know, so we're just doing the video because some people wanted to know, like, why would you want to bug out? Why are you bugging in? Because some people, we, we did a video with Jonathan Bob, which is Sissy, Sissy Bob's son. Mm -hmm. And there's some people out there that have disabilities, and it's not feasible for them to leave the location that they're at. 
Right. There's so, not a capability because they might not have family that can help them. That's right. And, you know, the thing is with Jonathan, he's prepared either way. He's prepared to stay or go. He's, he's kind of like sissy. Whatever I'm doing, he's doing. And I'll be honest, folks, now this bugging out situation, it it's not for everybody. That's for sure. Because Sissy took me to the location. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, uh, 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 Sissy, why don't we make that a whole nother video? No, we need to. <laughs> Let's make that a whole nother video. <laughs> no. This is going to take a whole 10 no, minutes to not. explain no, this reaction. reaction. Folks, let me just put it this way. Lots of mosquitoes. Snakes. snakes. Oh, no. Snakes, 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 little snakes. All Let's put snakes. it this way. <laughs> I'm not getting out the car. I'll just wait <laughs> for you here. <laughs> and that's and what I'll we'll be like. So if we go down, it's I'll a just... mile up the road, and she's like, a mile? You want me to walk a mile? <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't see the mosquitoes. I mean, folks, it got dark. It was like, it was She said, daylight. I didn't tell her, but yet I said, do you remember the day I said the mosquitoes are big enough they could carry you away? She goes, well, I didn't think you meant that. No, but she, I didn't think she did, but folks, <laughs> so to actually bug out, it's going to be, a, I mean... It's really a mindset that I'm She having, better be desperate. And I'm already be told her, you know, we might have to, like, drug her or shoot her or whatever if she well, does all that whining like she did the other day, that time we went. It wasn't whining. Come on, it folks. was whining. I never heard. I've been in Texas my whole life, almost 50 years in Texas, and I never <laughs> heard of a timber rattler that they're only this big. She said, oh, they're just little. They won't come up too far when they bite you. And I'm like, <laughs> and then she says, get a stick and make noise and rustle. And I'm like, <laughs> That wasn't even funny. <laughs> I was scared to death, folks. <laughs> so, to, yeah, you know, to bug in, honestly, it would be more comfortable. It would be more comfortable. But I don't know. Especially if you got city folk. <laughs> <laughs> it is more comfortable. But I'm looking at, it might not be comfortable, though, when you got no water, no electric, and there's people pounding at your well, door every minute. Well, I would still have water. Yeah. And how and would you have water? Because I got bottled water. <laughs> well, but I mean running water for showers oh, running. and oh. stuff. I'm saying it, it might, might not be as comfortable. Right. But looking at the area that we live in, bugging out, the snakes are looking really good. Because if, <laughs> if a situation happens... Snakes would be better than some of the other stuff. If a situation happened and people tried to come and scourge the, you know, the outer yeah. sides, yeah. as you want to say. exactly. The snakes are looking really good. So are the mosquitoes. At least you know a snake when you see a snake. I you couldn't see those little things. They were like, well, uh, my point is, you, some of the two-legged predators oh, aren't necessarily... And she forgot in. to mention, there's hogs. There's these holes. And I'm like, well, what? <laughs> I the stick. And I said, well, I wonder what could be in those holes. And she was like, well, I wouldn't stick that stick in there. You don't know what could come out of there now. What could possibly come out of that hog? <laughs> a hog is not this big. <laughs> well, a, tarantula. Ooh, a tarantula. A tarantula. A tarantula. It could have been a snake then, too, Doofy. Well, not that big around. Yeah, it could. Because sometimes so. snakes will just take over. It's probably an armadillo hole. And then, folks, if you're bugging out, you're going to go to a location. Not everybody, we're going to be honest, not everybody has the financial ability to build an underground bunker. I don't know, Joe. With, with the Holiday Inn conveniences and, you know, and your sleep mattress number and all that. What? Keep going, sis. I'm just saying. <laughs> not everybody we're has gonna it. We're going to have to trim this video. <laughs> we're going to have to trim it, but we might make part two because... <laughs> There is nothing really out there. So when you got to go, oh, you mean go? When you got to go, oh, folks, I was worried about taking my pants down with those mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> she was laughing, and I was like, I would have tried to have held it or just peed my pants. Well, you can tell who's time. been actually working out at the BOL and who has been there uh, more often and who has not been oh, there. My goodness. But it was. I couldn't go back a mile, 1.7 miles back to the vehicle. I had to go. Well, and then she fell for that. I told her we'd just stop up at the corner store and get some mosquito stuff. Yeah. And that's why I said, well, how far away is we got there? And she's store? like, D we pulled up. And she's like, where's the gas station? There wasn't that, folks. We were actually out in the boonies. Yeah, me and Pamela Sue left. And then, and then I find out now, now I find out afterwards, after I already made a decision, I'm going to go with Sissy Bob, there might be an alligator in the pond. Oh, yeah. I was transported <laughs> from, from Louisiana from to Louisiana. Texas. Many years ago, I hope that out here too, but anyway, the person used to bring him apparently every time he took a trip there, so. She's making fun of me, folks. <laughs> but to bug in or bug out, that is the choice that you have, that's a decision you need to make. 